move on to our uh, public input. Our first speaker is Celeste Scott. My name is Celeste Scott and I currently live in Homestead, Pennsylvania. I am a former resident of Lawrenceville, 52nd and Butler to be exact. My housing was affordable and due to the threat of a double rent increase, my family was forced out of a place we once called home. We were further displaced to North Hills and Monroeville this year to temporary housing due to the lack of affordable housing within the city limits. I cannot begin to tell you the fundamental need for affordable housing to be developed and retained near consistent and dependable transit lines. My name is Molly Nichols and I'm the director of Pittsburghers for Public Transit. We're a grassroots organization of public transit riders, transit workers, and residents who defend and expand public transit. But for a long time, transit advocates really wanted to help make the case that it was good to develop near transportation, public transit in particular. And this was to try to get people out of their cars and onto a bus or light rail. And fortunately, that's starting to work. And a lot of developers want to develop near good transit access. When that happens, the property values often go up because people see the public transit as an asset. The challenge is that it can often then lead to the displacement of residents who work near those transit stops. And a study just came out in D.C. that showed that the populations near metro stops are changing and the number of African American residents living near the metro stops is going down and the number of white residents living near the metro stops is going up. Now there's a much bigger push not just for what's called TOD or transit oriented development but equitable transit oriented development to ensure that any of that development is inclusive of the communities that are currently living there or for someone who wants to live near good transit they aren't just people who can afford market rate units it needs to be available for everyone. My name is Gina Gowans. I've been volunteering with PPT for about two years and I've been on their coordinating committee for about a year. So preserving affordable housing is definitely a challenge, especially with rental properties. With rental properties, what I see a lot and I think we all see is that there's these new developments going up right next to transit and they're luxury apartments. They're unreasonably expensive for families who are, are looking for that amenity of being close to transit, that's not a realistic option. So I think the challenge we have is that private developers are coming in and they're making decisions based on what's profitable, not what's accessible. And those decisions are shaping what our communities look like. So I really think we need a mechanism to have affordable rental housing that is able to be permanent. The development happening in East Liberty right now, for example, along the busway at the East Liberty Transit Center. And it's great that that new transit center is built and there's development happening around there. The problem is those apartments right on the busway are only market rate units. There's nothing that's affordable for the residents of East Liberty. Last week, we just proposed to the Port Authority, who in very good way are working on their transit oriented development guidelines and they mention affordable housing as a principle for that but we want it to actually be a policy so that the port authority says we will not sign off on a deal with a developer if that near our transit stations if that developer isn't including affordable housing in their plan
Everywhere we look, we see new luxury apartments being built while tearing down the homes of the working poor, predominantly African American, but certainly not sparing the white working poor from this assault. As the seeming tsunami of development rips through Pittsburgh, often with the help of tax breaks or direct subsidies, housing for the working poor is dramatically reduced. Gentrification, the term commonly used for this, simply means displacement for most found at the low end of the economic ladder. This forces people to leave the city they love, their neighborhoods, cultural and emotional ties, and often their family roots as they find the only even semi-affordable housing, as you've heard here today, is beyond Pittsburgh city limits in the often poorer and neglected former industrial suburbs like McKeesport, Braddock, and Duquesne, to name a few. You, the Port Authority leaders and planners, are to be commended for, and PPT acknowledges that you have created transit-oriented guidelines that give weight to the needs of the working poor. This is a big first step, one that most transit bodies never consider. So in some ways, you're pioneering this work. But guidelines are just that. They are guidelines, without legal authority, without muscle to back it up, without enforceable demands that new developments around transit centers must include a requirement that affordable housing be included in any new development considered by the Port Authority or will not be approved.